Undoubtedly, Akhenaten's army will be here within the hour. What do we do? Why must we pay for your stupidity? We must resist. Amon is powerful. We what power? We can use the people. If we arm them, they will defend the temple. The commoners are not soldiers. They will simply flee from any threat. A bunch of hungry people who've never seen war cannot fight. I have no choice. We must resist. We must save the temple. You want to save yourself, not the temple. This temple is in danger because of your stupid act. And I know how to save the temple. But I cannot do anything for you. Have my litter ready. What are you going to do? Before the army gets here and massacres everyone, I will apologize to Arkanaken and end the dispute. <laughs> I won't allow you to surrender the temple and me. Periyaman, what are you doing? As of now, I am in charge of ruling and defending the temple. You will be confined, as long as I order it. He wishes to hand us over to use our Sif soldiers, blaming us for today's killing. It is clear what they will do to us. Imprison Ankh-Mahu in his quarters. Kill anyone who tries to free him. Anyone. What are you doing, Paddy Amon? He is... Eminence Ankh-Mahu, the High Priest. Nobody intends on hurting him. If you help mobilize the people and save the temple, he will be freed after the temple is saved. It would be foolish to resist. Cooperate with him. Take him. You have promised to help. Mobilize the people. So what are you all still doing here? It is the High Priest's order. We will help him. My lord's order to announce the new religion and announce the worshipping of Amon was carried out. During the past few days, there was some resistance, and some Amon followers were arrested. Excellency Yuzarsif, the governor of Egypt, enters. also to burn down the silos, but we prevented it. You were not hurt, were you? No, not physically. But this calamity has hurt my soul severely. Now the temple attacks the wheat silos and my soldiers in broad daylight? Rest assured, your highness. The culprits will be punished severely. The priests of Amon Temple shall be held accountable. Haramab, listen. This is my order. Conquer Amon Temple. Destroy Amon Statue. Expel the priests from the temple and close it down. No killing. The culprits must be arrested and punished. My lord, your order will be carried out within the hour. Where are you going, my lady? You're going out again? I can't stay here until I know if Joseph triumphs or not. This war, 
is between the Egyptian gods and Joseph's gods. I want to know which side is winning. Although I know who will triumph. Come and defend your gods! Defend your gods! Protect the religion of your ancestors! The gods are in danger! The temple welcomes you! Be Amon's guest and enjoy delicious food! Do not let thousands of years of Amon worship be destroyed and trampled by Yusasim's chariot! Protect your ancestors' religion! The god that thinks of only filling the priests' bellies and does nothing to help us is not worth defending. That's right! You're an unbeliever! Use our seeps made you all unbelievers! That's right! And I don't believe in Amon, and will do nothing to help you defend it. People, come in and enjoy the best food! Those who have grown fat because of Amon should be the ones defending him. The kitchen of Amon welcomes you! Come in! What is it, my lady? Are you all right? <sighs> It's nothing. I just remembered something. Is there somewhere to sit? My lady, what's the matter? Why are you crying? I remembered something from the past. By Yusar Seep's god. Yusar Seep saw these days. I witnessed that. One day, Yusar Seif was reading the book of predictions for Egypt's future to Potiphar. The prediction said there would arrive a day when the distance between the poor and wealthy would be removed and that no one would worship Amman. Yusar Seif said that this would all be achieved by a divine man, a heavenly messenger. And today, I see him clearly, that heavenly man and divine messenger. How strange. How did Yusar Seif know all of these things? Because he is the prophet of God. My lady, will you not go and protect the temple? Weren't you once one of the goddesses of Amman Temple? A temple which is going to fight you, Sarsif. Everyone enjoy. Enjoy what Amman offers. You are guests of Amman. Welcome. You are guests. Of Amon's generosity. Everything we have is because of Amon. Amon is the ancient god of our ancestors. We will defend Amon against his enemies. Enjoy Amon's food. Enjoy Amon's food. Eat and thank Amon. Curse on Akhenaten. Curse on Akhenaten. Curse on you, Zarsif! Curse on you, Zarsif! Curse on you, Zarsif! Long live Amon! Long live Amon! You, Zarsif, doesn't dare come here! Our ancestors have sacrificed their lives for thousands of years to protect Amon. We are their true children. Those who lose their lives for Amon will be protected by Amon in the eternal and endless world. Everybody welcome. Help yourselves. Curse upon Amon's enemies. Support Amon Temple and the ancient traditions of Egypt. Why should a foreigner bring us a new religion? Why should we accept a foreigner bringing us a new religion? This is the Pharaoh and Yusar Seif's doing! They have betrayed Amon! 
and we will kill them both! We will defend Amon's temple, and we will kill them both! Down with you, Zarsif! Down with you, Zarsif! Down with Amon's enemies! is a haven for his followers. Come in. There is no famine in Amon's temple. Amon welcomes you with food. Amon welcomes his followers and guests. Come in and enjoy Amon's food. Poor Amon. They find supporters by promising them food. I'll tell you about that shepherd. He has been ruling this crisis-stricken country for 12 years, better than any pharaohs. But you temple priests, the heirs to a 3,000-year-old religion, are begging in the street. Old hag, hold your tongue immediately! And stop blathering! For many years, you priests ate the leftovers of this very blathering hag. Ask Kofo about it. He will tell you who Zuleika is. Zuleika? Potiphar's wife? Soldiers marching. I think they must be coming to seize the temple. Tell me, is their commander Yusarsif? No, the man in front is Commander Haramhab. It's Haramhab's army. They're coming to fight the temple. Quickly! He won't have any mercy on the temple. May God have mercy on the temple residents. We should leave here quickly. What can those loafing priests do against Harm Hobbs' army? We must leave.
Are you ready? Yes, sir. Order of Pharaoh Akhenaten to the commander of the Egyptian army, Horemhob. You are hereby commissioned to seize the temple and destroy the god Amon. As of now, the worshipping of Amon is deemed a severe crime. The official religion of Egypt is monotheism and the following of Prophet Abraham. Open the gate. Before I have to break it down and surrender immediately. What are you doing, Horam Hop? You have always followed Amon, Egypt's greatest god. You became the commander of Egypt's army with our support. How can you just forget all that? Akhenaten is the representative of the gods. I answer to my pharaoh, the pharaoh Akhenaten. I follow his command, and not Amon's. I am not here with the intention of killing. But if you force me, you know I will. The temple guards and soldiers will defend God's sanctuary. You will not enter this temple while I am in charge. Pharaoh Akhenaten has ordered that his army not resort to violence and not to shed blood. Do not force my hand. Please, Paddy Amon, surrender. Do not be the cause of innocent blood being shed on the streets of the temple. Insulting the holy sanctity of the temple will result in Amon's curse upon all of you. No one should dare disrespect Amon. Everyone listen! Horemhob has no mercy on anyone! I myself was there when he fought the Kabirians! I saw him massacre people! What are you saying? You're talking rubbish and scaring the people! Horemhob is not able to do anything! Paddy Armand's soldiers will protect you and the temple! I hope that... They resolve this, otherwise they will kill us all.
had surrendered and not wounded and killed my soldiers, I may have forgiven you. But you are a foolish man. And I'll kill you, Harakab, just like your soldiers.
They killed Paddy Armin. They killed Paddy Armin. All right, all right, calm down. No need to worry, everyone. Calm down. Only Eminent Shank Ma who can end this chaos. We must free calm him. Calm down. We must free him. <laughs> This is a warning to all people inside the temple. I am giving you time to exit the temple and surrender. If not, my soldiers will attack. I can't believe it. Guys! They killed Paddy Armon! Paddy Armon has been killed by Haramhar! Do you understand? The temple is unguarded! We are defeated! Now free the High Priest! He may be able to do something! Paddy Armon was killed! Paddy Armon is dead! Open the door! You must do something! You must do something! If you refuse to leave the temple, your lives will be in danger. When I give the order to attack, no one will be spared. Stop! Wait! Where are you going? Why are you leaving? Defend them on! Protect them on! Stop! Stop! Where are you going? Stay and defend your god! and the magnificent Amon and his weak and powerless followers. Eminence Ankmahu, do you surrender? I wish to ask for some time. There is no time. You must surrender. We are not surrendering. If Commander Haramab allows us some time, we will consult and leave the temple. We will wait, Eminence Ankmahu, out of respect.
Amon is so great, his enemies will never be able to defeat him. You will see how astounded his enemies will be. They have asked for some time. Ankh-Mahu is clever and deceitful. He must not be given time to scheme. Take the wounded. Take the bodies away. That statue will have to be broken. No, I will not allow that. If we must, we will use force. I will break Amon's statue so that everyone will see it is powerless. Do not enrage Amon. He will take revenge on you. Do not worry about us. Let's see what revenge he can manage. Stand aside. No, I won't allow it. You cannot go near Aman. You have no right to insult Aman. Step aside. Step aside before I become angry. Step aside. May Aman's curse be upon you. May Aman's wrath befall you. May the gods' anger befall you. It's not there. Amon's gone. Where did he go? Amon, the god of gods, has ascended to the skies, to his real abode. He has escaped defeat. He will return to Earth when the time comes. He will take revenge upon his enemies. Amon! Amon has ascended has to the skies! Has defeated his enemies! He is triumphant! He will take revenge! Amon! The great god of Egypt has disappeared, but he will return and take revenge on all his enemies. We should not have attacked Amon. He will take revenge on us. The statue is here, I'm sure of it. It hasn't gone anywhere.
Did Amon ascend to the sky, or creep underground to hide? Commander Horamhal, take them to Severa prison. They will be tried later. Curse be on Amon! Curse be on you, Angmahu, for trying to deceive everybody! How does he think he is entitled to speak like that? We must celebrate this day with a festival. Today marks the victory of monotheism over idolatry. I congratulate Yusar Sif, the prophet of God, on his victory. I thank you too, Commander Haramab. I heard you managed the clash very wisely. Well done. I order that as of today, the name of Amon be removed from all inscriptions throughout Egypt, and the name of the one god, Aten, be inscribed in its place. I also order that Ankmahu and all his priests remain in prison until they die. If I were the murderous type, this day would be their last on Earth, although I'll spare their lives. Have the city decorated and hold celebrations for the people all throughout Egypt. Mommy! Mommy, I'm hungry. Please, Judah. Your son is hungry. Do something. How does brooding help the situation? Just wait until sunset. There is a famine. We can't afford more than one meal a day. But children don't understand such things. He is hungry. Then make him understand. There is no choice. Hello, Levi. Hello, Benjamin. What is it? What's brought you here? Father. Father sent me. Go and play. Don't joke, brother. Father has nothing to do with this. It's not a joke. Father told me to bring you to him. That's what he really said? That's right. Father hasn't talked to us for years. Why does he want to see us now? Do you swear that he himself called us? Why would I lie? And why do you hesitate? Father is waiting. Go and call the others. Children, call your uncles. Perhaps he wants to open the old wound about Joseph. Joseph is not a wound. He is a sorrow, a pain that you inflicted on father. I'm not in the mood for advice or your taunts. We'd better go and find out what father wants to say. I've delivered the message. Whether you come or not is up to you. Wait, Benjamin. Calm down. Calm down. There are two groups that will never have happiness in either world. Do any of you know who they are? Who can tell me which two groups will never have happiness? May I say, Grandfather? Go on. They are those who disrespect their parents and hurt them. Ah, well done. And whose son are you? I am Levi's son. Ah, you're Kohath. And you are correct. So, which is the other group of people who will not see happiness in either world? May I say, Grandfather? I know who you are. 
You are Ashbel, Benjamin's son. Go ahead. Those who disrespect their elders. Well done. Those who disrespect people more knowledgeable than them, or more faithful than they are, or older. They will not see happiness in either world. I am worried for those who disrespected their prophet, their old father. May God forgive them. Hello, father. Hello, father. Hello, prophet of God. Hello, prophet of God. Hello, prophet of God. Hello, father. Greetings, prophet of God. Hello, prophet of God. God's greetings. I'm prophet of Hello, prophet of God. Hello, prophet of God. Hello, prophet of God. God's greetings to all of you. Is everyone here? Yes, Father. The famine and hardship is a blessing. I am optimistic about the future, but not about a bunch of lazy men that you are. We are starving to death, but they won't do anything. What's the matter with you? How will you sit around feeling sorry for yourselves? Do you call yourselves men? Each of you is responsible for a family. You've decided to sit back and watch your family members die one by one? But what can we do, Father? If you men can't do anything, then maybe we can. Do something. You cannot just sit idle. But all cities and towns around are facing famine. There's nowhere else to go. I have heard from Melika, the merchant, and others that the situation is good in Egypt. The governor of Egypt has stored a large amount of wheat. Gather whatever money you have and go to Egypt. Perhaps you can do something for your wives and children. The problem of famine will not be solved by sitting here and feeling sorry for yourselves. Egypt. About 20 days. It is not close. What's the choice? We cannot stay here and watch our wives and children die. And if there was no wheat? At least we have tried and didn't give in to death without a fight. My children and I can't bear to be hungry anymore. If famine harms the tribe of children of Israel, I'll never forgive myself. Father's call and guidance to Egypt to find wheat is a test. Father wants to know if you deserve reconciliation or not. If the prophet of God urges you to go, do not hesitate. He knows things. He knows things that you do not know. Taking his advice is undoubtedly to your benefit. Go and prepare to leave. 